Hi, this is Shayla Lanier coming to you live from my pickup again. I'm waiting for my kids. I have very busy kids. Anyway, um, History 512, Liberty University. This is our fourth discussion post. And um, this post is supposed to be about our final research project. Mine, of course, is um, based on Samuel Adams. And um, this is a great book about him written by Ira Stoll. And I've noticed as I've been researching for the final project that there are many quotes in here by Adams and they, um, they, oh heavens, sorry, they talk about God. And one of my favorites is Samuel Adams said in 1795, we owe our unceasing gratitude to the supreme ruler of the universe who safely carried us through our arduous struggle for freedom. And, um, and that, as I read the book by Ira Stoll and studied more of Adam's writings, I've really been struck by his spirituality. And so that led me to break out something that I love so much. Um, this was a Christ Christmas gift a few years ago because I requested it. Um, it's the Founder's Bible. And it's the New American Standard Version of the Bible. But um, what it is, is... Um, so it's, it's the Bible, but also the signature historian on this project, the Founder's Bible, is David Barton. And he talks about, um, he's the president of Wall Builders, which is a national pro-family organization. He has the largest private library with over 100,000 original source documents from the founding area founding era and um so he's it's the largest one of the largest private collections in the nation he is a constitutional historian he has been asked to consult by um, legislators and he has also consulted on some um, supreme court cases so that um as a history major of course i think i want to write i want to teach but um consulting for legislators and um the Supreme Court that appeals to me. I really like the idea of that and I'm hoping that's something I can do as I go throughout this historical journey I'm on. So anyway, but in this Bible, which is just fabulous, um, it has many of our documents. It's got the Declaration of Independence, but it also has a real focus on the founders. And um, he, in here, they have an excerpt and it says that candid warnings from our founders were numerous and clear. If citizens ignored the private lives of candidates and became negligent in electing godly leaders to office, government would become corrupt. Voting was seen as one of the most important of the Christian responsibilities and was not to be taken lightly. And in here on page 990, there's a quote by Samuel Adams reminding citizens and it says, let each citizen remember at the moment he is offering his vote that he is not making a present or a compliment to please an individual, or at least that he ought not to do so, but that he is executing one of the most solemn trusts in human society for which he is accountable to God and his country. I love that. And I think as a country, we've gotten away from that. And I think that's something that we all need to take to heart. And um, hopefully as we become more well-versed in history and as we become professional historians, we can bring that back to the forefront of American thought when they think about voting. And I just really love that. And it's part of my final project. Thank you.